everybody, it's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building. He played Ralph Tresvant in the BET New Edition story. Mm. And he always looks like Ralph Tresvant to me every time I see him. I'm trying to figure out how to pronounce Aldi his name. Smith. Is he, there? he was trying to buy hey, no, 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 why you even had to say that though? No, 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 you was. You I was. was. I seen it. He said, do I pronounce it as a J or a G? He was going to get it regardless. He said Algae. Is that, that, is that the no, way? No, it's Algae. Exactly. You didn't know. I didn't know. Algae. Where does the name Algae come from? Where does the name Algae come from? I don't really even know. But yeah, yeah, my mom's. I'm the fourth, though, so it's just been passed <laughs> so down. You're so you're Algie the fourth. Yep, the fourth. That's actually a... I don't uh, know where it came from. I ain't never asked. I should Let me see asked. what this name means. It's a plant, yeah, though, isn't it? it? Isn't it like... Hey, algae is really Al energy, though. Like, algae provides a lot of energy way. for a lot of things on the earth, like oil, gas, like... Algae is good. Like you made algae, that up. Algae, algae. Yeah, he's no, making that up. Look it up. I'm looking at I thought it was like something that grows. energy, too, man. It grows on, like... Sea plants. That's or algae, I mean, but that's not the same. Yeah, it's not spelling the same right with the yeah, way. No, man. It's that's not e a l g. Make your own e algae. What is algae? No, you can't. Uh -uh. It's a device for mental health. First Technically, aid, your parents made their action. own algae. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 I was gonna be like, no, you can't. Oh, look, it is a real thing. It's an acronym. I'm telling you, yeah. Algae is assess for risk of suicide or harm. The L is for listen non judgmentally. The G is for give reassurance and information. E, encourage appropriate professional help. And E is encourage self help and other. Support strategy. Yeah, that's some bullshit. Hey, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, all right. Hey, that's a lot of yeah. Niggas just yeah. like okay. That's a real thing. <laughs> okay. It's a life-saving acronym. I'm just here to promote. Hey, my that's new hard stuff. though. I like <laughs> that. That's what's up. The hate you give, man. The hate you give. Hate man. You give. That's what you're here for. I ain't even y'all ain't even seen it yet. Well, I wanted me. to come, but guess what I know, happened? I know. Hey, that's out of my look. What happened, you? They gave me the wrong date to, and I told y'all that we're invited, but it, it was last week. Y'all gotta go see it. Come out here on the fifth. So it come. I mean, it's everywhere on the nineteenth, but it plays here on the fifth early. It plays in Atlanta on the fifth, uh, D.C., Baltimore, um, well, Texas. Well, since we ain't get invited, tell us about it. What's it's it about? It's based on a book, right? <clears throat> so yeah, the hate you give is based on the best-selling novel written by Angie Thomas, um, and it's crazy because ever since she put it out, it's been like like number one on the charts for like seventy-seven weeks right now in a YA edition for young adult books. But it's based on a 16-year-old girl who sees her best friend get killed by a police officer. Mm. And this girl, she she grew up in the hood in Garden Heights, but she goes to school in the white neighborhood, so she constantly feel like she got to like switch herself. Oh, I seen that trailer. In. That shit yeah. look crazy. Mm -hmm. And so I played her friend that gets shot, and so after I get shot, she got to decide in her mind, do I just be quiet? I seen him get shot. Yeah. Do I, you know what I'm saying, stand up for him? She don't want to be called no snitch, which our society does a lot, but she the only one that's seen it happen. And so from there, it just shows you her story of having to step up. It's a story about identity and her finding her true voice, but it's just about everybody's finding their true voice and just speaking up for what you don't like. What I saw the trailer like. for that. I don't know why I was thinking it was something supernatural. Huh? I did. I saw the trailer for that. I saw the trailer because she got killed, and then it's like she's getting pressured nah, by people. Nah, nah, nah. I mean, yeah, you got yeah, killed, yeah, yeah. and then she's <laughs> you got you killed, yeah, 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 and then yeah, she's yeah. getting pressured by everybody exactly. to say something. Say something. Yeah, exactly. I saw the trailer. Yep. The trailer looking tense as hell. You were also in Detroit. I'm, yeah. Yeah, you're playing all these roles that are really very emotional. Yeah, it's, it's crazy because I'm not even picking them. It's just almost just like, I don't know. I guess it's just the, the higher power because it's like, I, I mean, I love. I get the material to my email. Either I love it or I don't love it. I go in for it, and then it is what it is after that. But I've just been blessed enough to play roles. I mean, to have roles that say something other than just, other than just entertaining. So Are you a social it. justice warrior in real life? I won't say I'm a social justice warrior, but I care about things, and I speak on what I care about. Right. I ain't going to sit here and say I'm an activist or nothing like that. All right. Eventually, maybe I will get there, but you know, because I care about a lot of things in the world. So, now does playing a role like this uh, increase the anxiety that you probably already have being a young black man in America? Of course, it's a lot of man. What it's, you got? Like, I look at it like, no matter what anybody says, I'm a target after that. No matter how big my role was in the film, because we combating something that this system is built upon. You know what mm. I'm saying? And what they always forcing on us. So, when it's something like that that's been so systematic for so many years. You got to look at it like I'm taking a risk right now. And I, I understand that. And I'm fine with it, though, because I'm speaking up. And it's sad, too, because you probably never really get out of character because that is a reality for yeah, you as a young up. black man in America. With, with, with this one specifically, with Khalil and The Hate You Give, yeah, I'm never out of that character. So how much of the movie, because they like Algie Smith starring in The Hate You Give, mm -hmm. you do get killed in the movie. So are you over, like, early on? Or? <laughs> is it done in the first time? Yeah, unless yeah, you want to know. I'm just, mm, no, no, I haven't no. seen it yet. No, what's dope about it is, I mean, it's not dope that I die in it, but <laughs> but after I die, uh, they keep the memory of him living on, so you never stop seeing my face. So, you so flashback to yeah, flashbacks, That's funeral, t-shirts, posters. You know what I'm saying? They keep bringing him up because it's based on her having to deal with his death, and so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, by the trailer, I couldn't tell if you were a ghost that was constantly talking to her, saying, "Say something." No, yeah, facts though, because they don't. He ain't really break it down. She good enough. 
Well, not too That's good. That's why you got to go see it. it yeah, you got to just go see it. For sure. How hard is it to get killed in a movie? Like, what does that do for your psyche when something like that happens? Yo, and... I've died in like four or five projects I've been in. <laughs> <laughs> the first one was a little crazy. I was like, yo, this is crazy. Now I'm like a pro at dying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, throw me in there. Like... <laughs> <laughs> nah, but it, it messes with you, especially this time because I was in a casket. And I'm just seeing wow. all these people with my face on their shirts. Was... Hey, it was crazy, bro. George Tillman, the director, he directed Soul Food, mm-hmm. uh, Notorious, um, countless movies, bro. But he's uh, he was like, yo, you can get out of the casket whenever you want to. My dumb ass is like, nah, nah I'm going to stay in here, stay in character. <laughs> and I'm in that casket for like an hour, just like, bro. And then the, the Amanda who plays Star, she's crying. <laughs> so every time she cries a little longer. So the first time she might cry like 10 seconds. The next time she crying 20 seconds. I'm like, yo, I'm trying to hold my breath. She's just crying. Did you fall asleep? <laughs> I almost did, yeah. <laughs> That's the hell was you staying up for? It's uncomfortable, bro. And you in the casket. That I got a I gotta hear him call spot. action and cut. I got to do nothing but... Hey, no, you gotta hold your breath. You know yeah, you, can't you can't be can't breathing. breathing and seeing oh, that. Wow. Snoring, I had to. You probably was like, hurry up and cry. How long, yeah, that's what I'm saying. And she just crying a little longer. Like, Don't get your... <laughs> how long you gotta hold your breath though? It just depended on Until how long she the scene ran. So you... she she controlled the scene at that point. Are you a good swimmer? Uh, <laughs> don't know what we're talking about. He's talking about holding your breath. Underwater, nigga. Oh, yeah, so he yeah. hear from you, he thinking some sperm days. Hey, hey, look, I know what's going on. <laughs> he some, hey, I'm ready for <laughs> any... Hey, hey look, look. What kind of sperm are you talking about? My that, brother, hey, look. Just, <laughs> we love guys God. that can hold their breath. Jesus <laughs> Christ. You can ask me how long you can hold your breath. That was it, bro. Hey, no, nah, no. Nah, I can hold my breath for a pretty, good, for a pretty long time. For sure. <laughs> All right. Now, where were you going with that? I'm just going to talk to Nasty ass nigga. <laughs> you over here talking about the movie and underwater. Look at Taylor laughing done. in the corner. She's like, yes, hold your yeah. breath, baby. She said, yes, yes, hold that breath. <laughs> oh, by the way, she told me she was going to flirt with you crazy, and I'm going to tell you why. Uh-oh. Because we got a friend, we got a, my, my other homie up here, her and Woody may or may not be an item. Oh, yeah? But she said she wanted Ralph. Oh, yeah? What are you doing? Damn, she claimed, nigga. Yeah. I want Ralph. Ooh. Not even allergies. Yeah, I want Ralph. You know Ralph. when he has a girlfriend. You better stop. <laughs> yeah. She works up here. Yeah. <laughs> I seen it, though. I seen it. Look, and he think he's slick because he posted it on his gram, too. I said, yeah, that, boy, that boy nice. That boy nice. He posted just that part of the interview. Just that part. I said, oh, yeah, that boy, that boy nice. Now, what about recording music, Algy? Have you been recording a lot of music? I've been recording a lot of music. I just finished my album, ATLA. Mm-hmm. Just to give you all brief story of ATLA at the end of 2015 I was living in Atlanta and I felt like one nothing really popping for me on the acting side there music was going pretty all right but I was like I gotta make a move so I gave myself 30 days went out to LA the homegirls let me sleep on their couch I'm struggling to get money for Uber struggling to get money to eat by the end of that 30 days I figured out I booked new edition and I ain't been able to leave LA ever since so the right. album is just like you know what I'm saying a preview into that part of my life and getting people to understand my story did new edition change anything for you doing that the new edition changed a lot man um I got, I gained a lot of love from that, a lot of support, a lot of opportunities. And it's just genuine love too. It's like our people love, community love. Everywhere I go, man, they just I like, was, they know that. I was just talking Everywhere about I that go, earlier. Man. I was talking about that black love is yeah, different. When different. black people got a love for you, man. They gonna always be there. Like they always there. No, don't say that. No, no, I ain't not, I'm not gonna say no. I said there. I okay. ain't gonna say they always gonna no, break me. Right they always there though. You, you do something me? crazy, they ain't gone. Yeah, but yeah. You know but what? all you gotta do is cry to get them back. You good? You good? You, good. you know, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. So He's think, canceled. So you think tears will work for Bill Cosby? No. Oh, no. damn. Yeah, that it shut you up, Dad. Hey, man, they started. They started. They got sympathy for him. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, man. Look, I keep seeing these. I've seen this one picture where Bill is like, he got like a. He's sitting in the chair and it's like three white women behind him and they just on his shoulders. Yeah, and thug somebody put captioning, yeah, thug put it up. And somebody captioning like, look, man, y'all, we don't even know the half. We probably really don't. Mm-hmm. It's so much because I think after one, it's just multiple just start coming out. Like, mm-hmm. Would you play Bill Cosby in a movie? No, I'm straight. <laughs> 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 Hey, why I love Bill, but I did. Why man. couldn't you do the Bill Cosby biopic? Hey, hey, but Bill a legend though, which is yes. man, Bill is a legend. <laughs> hey, but no, I'm straight. You want black people to love you? Why wouldn't you? Oh, seriously, why wouldn't you play Bill in a movie? I just don't feel like, you know what? Let me get a right answer, not a politically correct answer. Because you know you live at least for a part of the time. <laughs> you lived at least be eighty something. Ah, she said you'd be in a movie for a little bit. <laughs> Nah, I just don't think, I don't know. I'm, I'm always up for a challenge. I just couldn't see myself playing Bill Cosby right now. 
But I mean, that can change. I might. They might have a fire. Somebody's gonna come out with a Bill Cosby oh, documentary sure. very soon, absolutely. and they might have a fire script to it. So I don't know. You never know. It'd be the worst casting ever, though, because y'all look nothing alike. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, I'm just. Like... <laughs> now, do you still talk to Ralph? I, uh, I ain't talked to Ralph in a couple months, but yeah, it's always love when I talk to him. So, are you gonna be in this BBD movie? Nope. Because Ralph mm-hmm. is nowhere in that scene. Yeah, I ain't gonna be in there. I didn't even know they was doing the BBD movie. So how you know you're not in it? <laughs> I, I ain't know they was doing one. <laughs> so, that's how I know I ain't getting no call. <laughs> you know what, I'm starting to wonder about you. <laughs> <laughs> I got worried. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No, that's what's up though. They need to do a movie. It's like I think now is a perfect it's a good season for biopics coming out and they're and they're being done the right way. Yeah. That's what I love. How did how did the Bobby Brown movie do ratings wise? It, it did great. Know? It did great? Yeah. yeah. That's what's up. Oh, you didn't pay no attention? Not to the ratings, no. Come on, man. <laughs> what what other sacrifices? That's did my you... dog, man. Who Woody? Yeah, all of them do. That's my dog. He did a great job in that too. Yeah, he showed up. He killed mm-hmm. it. For sure. What what other sacrifices did you make to get to this point? You said you slept on some couches and yeah. stuff like that. I mean, what didn't we do? Me and my family been making sacrifices for a long time. Like my parents used to it used to be like we would go without certain meals sometime to give me the auditions or you know what I'm saying, to work something out for the studio. We sacrifice some bread for something else to get studio equipment. So my whole life been sacrificed preparing for this, but it, you know, when it happens, you you can't really prepare for mm-hmm. that. But mm-hmm. it's been a lot of sacrifice. What made you want to act? To be honest with you, watching Fresh Prince. Really? Yeah, yeah. I was, I was, do- I've been doing music since I was nine, and uh, <clears throat> when I was about fifteen, one of my acting agents was like, I mean, one of my managers was like, "Yo, I know this acting agent. Let's try it out." We went there. She signed me on the first day. I was kind of didn't really know what was going on. I'm mm-hmm. still learning as I'm going, but. Uh, after she signed me, it's like two months later, and I just started booking, and I just kept rolling with it. And it's just like it's a it's just a different form of expression for me, so I appreciate it. Mm-hmm. What was the most uh, fun movie you had working on? Because you've had a lot of great people around you in your Ooh. career, but what was the most fun on set? Damn, if it wasn't a new edition, was crazy. If it wasn't new edition in Detroit, because I had the homies like Jason Mitchell was on set. Mm-hmm. We had John Boyega, Jacob Lattimore, Will Poulter. Like we was, it was a fool every time we was on set. Malcolm Kelly, but new edition was just different though. Like I think it was wild. <laughs> <laughs> it was wild. What, what you mean? What you call wild? Nah, nah, nah. We was just, we just had <laughs> nah, fun. Nah, <laughs> you already, you already denied stuff. I just asked you what you yeah, call wild. Yeah, I'm like, wild. nah, nah, nah. We didn't. Nah, 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 nah. I didn't have sex with nobody. Nah, nah, nah. Nobody. I promise. <laughs> Nah, 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 nah. Like, that's why I learned to hold my breath. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, no, nah, we was. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it was fun though. We created a real brotherhood, and we just made some good memories. Let's say that. A lot of times, I'm sure you guys go up for the same roles too. You know what's funny? I don't never see the homies. Probably me and Keith them probably went out for some similar roles, but other than that, I don't never be seeing the homies like at my, at my auditions. Mm-hmm. They probably do though. They probably just be in there when I ain't in there. So what's next after the Hate You Give? What else are you? I know you're probably getting all kinds of offers now. Yeah, no, nah, it's good. I mean, to be honest with you, not even. <laughs> People not? don't even understand. Like, I mean, you get offers. Yeah, I'm getting offers. I'm taking meetings with directors. and But it ain't just like, yo, take this movie, take this movie. They're coming to me. Yo, we love your work. What do you feel about this? Can we work together? And that's a blessing because mm-hmm. it's, it's another step up. So I appreciate it. But uh, right now I'm still auditioning. I'm working on this movie to my album too. So I'm shooting a film to it. Just okay, to give it a visual, sense. so I'm putting all my time into that. Um, so you're just, just working got, right now? Yeah, I'm working. And man. then when you get that one big role that changes everything, that's when they start throwing yeah, stuff at you. Yeah, yeah. Or that, I mean, I've had some solid roles that people just ain't paying attention yet, but that's going to change, so I ain't even tripping about it. Are you wearing yeah. condoms? Yeah, of course. Okay. What? what? <laughs> hey, I got too much to risk out here, bro. A lot you got too much to lose. To lose. To lose. Yeah, yes, yeah. you give me too much to lose. risk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a lot to risk, too. Like, what? Yeah. It's a big I'm definitely strapped. Sure. Well, we appreciate you for joining us. Thank y'all, man. Al G. Smith. The hate yeah, you yeah, yeah. Gee. Uh, uh, Al Gee. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why did he just yell out Gee? <laughs> it's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. I thought he was shouting out Gia. <laughs>